What's up? It's Iceman hooking you guys up with an ice cold video and today guys I am bringing you my class setups and all that stuff that I use and what I use for certain situations but first I want to go ahead and let you know I wanted to wait till I got through a whole prestige that way I got comfortable enough with the game to actually share with you guys what I use in the game and as you see right now my stats are pretty good uh, I got a 2.58 KD um, that's not my preferred weapon. For some reason, there's a uh, like a little glitch in the game where it doesn't really show you what your preferred weapon is. But it looks to be like my preferred weapon is the uh, AK-12. Even though I really don't believe that is my preferred weapon either, as I don't use it that much. Right now, my current win streak is 13. Uh, I'm at 178 wins. I've played uh, 247 games, which leaves me a 2.617 win-loss ratio. And I've got a day, an hour, and 48 minutes played in the game. Now... I am currently, you know, a level 10 on my second character, level 6 on my third character, but it actually took me about a day's worth of time, about 24 hours worth of gaming time to get through a prestige because I didn't get to play on this account during uh, double XP weekend, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm totally cool with it, and it doesn't bother me all that much. Um, I'm just glad I got to get through it, but I want to go ahead and get to some of my classes, and here you see is my MTRX class, and this is the class that you see me using now in my updated videos I was trying some things out I was trying ghost out I was trying you know I did give amplify I tried I felt like amplify made it too easy but at the same time it made it to where I was kind of leaning on it like a crutch and I was using that more than anything else I mean I might as well just want amplify only if I'm gonna use it just to me it's just I don't know it's just such a powerful perk it, it just it's just not what I need I don't want to sit there and rely on one thing to do well I want to rely on all my perks as a whole and I felt like right here is the perfect setup for me. Um, I'm running a grip and a silencer on my MTAR. I've got a 2.3 KD with this gun, which is weird because I seem to do really well with it almost every time I use it. Um, perks wise, as you see, I've got ready up. And I use that simply because I'm always sprinting. And you'll see that on probably 100% of all my class setups because I always sprint and I want to be able to have my gun ready. And on my SMGs, especially the MTAR, I use quick draw for faster aiming because the AR time to kill in this game is so fast that SMGs are kind of at a disadvantage. Not by much, but that quick draw really helps when you're up against a AR. And then I use takedown so I can be quick and sneaky as possible with my SMG and try and get behind the enemies so I don't have to worry about taking ARs head on. And so I use takedowns so they don't really know where I'm coming from. They'd have to literally be watching their radar or see me on radar because I don't use off the grid. And this kind of helps me out a little bit with the sneaky aspect of the game. Now, I'm also using Dead Silence, which also helps me be pretty sneaky. Even though Amplify can hear me, it doesn't hear me as loud as it would as my teammates who don't use Dead Silence. And then, as you see, I'm using Scavenger and Focus, which are my two main perks. I gotta have that on every class simply because... I'm going on those long streaks, and I gotta have focus simply because I hate the flinch. So I have to have those two perks, especially that I'm running um, my strike package, a support SATCOM, and support ballistic vest. Because honestly, guys, the streaks in this game just terrible. Look at those streaks; they're just terrible. <laughs> so I run support. Uh, get my games or gun kills only it also helps me get my mow out without going for specialist uh i know specialists in this game kind of just i don't really like specialists in this game i mean i'm pretty sure if i found a good setup to you know earn perks with i'd like it but let's go ahead and move on to my vector class my vector class i run a silencer and a red dot but i turn the blue dot into a blue dot simply because i am ice man and i like the color blue and i think the blue looks better in this game than the red and as you see on my camos on all my guns, I use the ice, simply because I'm ice man, and it just is a perfect fit. Same perks, same streaks, works every time. And on my honey badger, now this is one of my favorite gun setups. I love this gun to fucking death. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but this thing on medium range maps is just fucking awesome. It's nasty, the thing is fucking, it just does work. And it's, it's great because it's almost like having three free attachments. And I don't have to give anything up to get those attachments. And it's nice, it's got the integrated silencer, I put a red dot and a grip, so you know, the thing is basically a little laser beam. And then as you see, instead of quick draw, I switched it out for stalker because I prefer to, uh, you know, be able to strafe with my AR. And with an SMG, you can pretty much strafe without stalker, but it's, but on an AR, you pretty much need that whole, right that, that right there. Because I've gotten so used to the adjustable stock, 
in Black Ops 2 that I need it now. And it's not an attachment in this game, therefore I have to waste 3 points, which I'm totally fine with because I don't really need quick draw on my ARs because of how powerful they are in this game, the fast time to kill. So it makes it really, really nice. Uh, same streaks, and you're going to see those streaks in all my classes simply because I'm going for straight gun kills. Now this right here is probably my my most unique class that I made, and this is my CBJ MS class, and this honestly is my favorite gun in the game. As you see, I'm rocking a 3.63 KD with this gun. I use this gun exclusively on trimmer, and I honestly, I do well on trimmer every time. I don't think there's ever been a time where I played on trimmer and didn't have a 3 KD. And honestly, that's obviously a fact because I'm rocking a 3.63. And like I said, I use this gun exclusively and only on trimmer. You really won't see me use it on any other maps. And you probably won't see me use any other guns on trimmer just because this gun fits so well with that map. Now I'm using Ready Up. Like I said, it's on 100% of all my classes. And then I'm using Agility and Steady Aim because this thing isn't all that good when aiming down sights. Steady Aim really makes it to where like those first couple kills are accurate when I fire, then aim. Because I don't aim then fire, I fire the aim with that gun. And then I'm using Dead Silence, Scavenger, and Focus, of course. So, you know, the only unique part about this is the agility and the, uh, what's it called? The steady aim. Now, the reason I don't use takedown on this class setup, and there's a reason for that. Because, you know, everything I do is pretty much, you know, thought through. I don't use takedown because this gun is really, really effective close range. I mean, like, you hit fire and up close and they're freaking dead in like a millisecond and as you see i got 27 accuracy with it which is pretty good considering i do challenge people long range and you will see that in videos but i don't use takedown because i want people to know i'm coming because i want them to come to me because if i have to challenge a long range 90 percent of the time i'm gonna lose a gunfight to where if i'm up close i got like a hundred percent chance literally like i'm gonna win that gunfight up close it's, it's just ridiculous and as you guys saw in the beginning of my moab video i mean I killed that one dude in that four kill up close. I think he was already weak, but still, the fact that I just got that dude up close and I took him out right after knifing that SATCOM was just amazing. And then my next class, though, it is the AK-12, which I'm rocking a 3.06 KD with that gun. And honestly, this is a great gun. I recommend this gun to anybody. Um, some people might complain about the recoil on this gun, but I honestly put a grip on it. I find it very tolerable. It's a great long range. This is a great gun to pick people off with who are just trying to, you know, pick you off from a range. If you just tap fire it, there's no need for single fire. Even though I hear single fire in this game, it was great on ARs. I feel no need. I can control the gunfire myself. And I'm using the same AR perk, Stalker instead of Quick Draw, and then everything else is the same. And the same streaks. Like I said, I use that on all my guns. The same streaks. Uh... And Remington R5, I got the same setup with the grip and silencer. I'm rocking a 269 with that gun. I really don't use it much. And I was using, I, for some reason I was using this gun a lot on a on Stonehaven, which is by by far the worst map ever in the game. But, uh, I mean, if you're, I guess if you're a sniper, you, you know, it's like sniper heaven. But, honestly, like, I don't know what I was thinking using that gun on that map, but I did it. I tried it, and obviously that really, you know, screwed me because it didn't work very well. I had to end up switching to my AK-12, which ended up working tremendously on that map. And then on here, I have some of the same class setups. As you see, my character is also different from this one. This one's got the heavy PMC, which looks fucking beast. And then this guy, he's just rocking the feder the Federation, which, you know, I don't give a fuck who it is. I like the uh, outfit myself. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, as you see, I got the Honey Badger, the same setup from the other one, the AK-12, same setup. But in this class, I brought the FAD over, because I wanted to give the FAD a try. I kind of wanted to mix it up and bring you guys some different guns for gameplay. And the FAD is definitely an interesting gun. It's uh probably the worst AR in the game, but it's fun. And as you notice, I named this Charlie Sheen. Rob Schneider, if you've seen the, the movie The Animal, that's why... I named the Honey Badger Rob Schneider because of the Badger Milk. But Charlie Sheen, I do this every game, and I've been doing it since me and my friend Gary played Black Ops 1, and we named the Mac 11 the Charlie Sheen. And ever since then, we've been naming the most underrated but fun to use and awesomely awesome, <laughs> right, awesomely awesome gun slash SMG, as I said before, SMG, I think. Anyway, that's the gun we named Charlie Sheen. And, and to me, this feels like the underrated SMG. So we went ahead and named it Charlie Sheen. and You'll see in uh, Black Ops 2, I had a Charlie Sheen class as well. But this is the Charlie Sheen of the 
AR. This thing is very, very underrated. It's not all that good. Um, it's very good up close, though. I will give it that. But, you know, being good up close isn't always, you know, what you want in your AR. You want your AR to be pretty good at long range. And as you see, you know, same two classes. And then right here I got a Vepper instead of an MTAR. Now I know I said the MTAR is probably going to be my favorite gun in the game, but honestly guys, the CBJ, it, it takes the cake. This is my favorite gun in the game. I love using it. Every time I use it, I have a good time. And that's exactly what I look for in the game. But uh, the Vepper, guys, this thing right here is fucking awesome. This thing has a great hip fire, not even steady aim, and the hip fire is amazing up close. I mean, it just tears people up. I don't even have to aim half the time. And I want to get you guys some gameplays with this gun, too, along with the FAD. So, you know, look forward for that. And as you see, it's basically the same typical SMG setup, but I'm running a grip and a silencer on that instead. And one thing I don't like about this gun, though, is how... The red stays on the gun when you put a camo on it. Kind of reminds me of the SVU. And I hate it. I hated the SVU in Black Ops 2. But, you know what? It's all good. But I just wanted you guys to see my class setups. And this is the, you know, setup for my second character. Um, For this gun, I'm rocking a 393. It looks like it's my best KD in the game for this gun. Or whatever. So, you know, that's pretty impressive. Um, I have fun playing this game. As you see, that's a 363. The Vector is a 263. The FAD is a 318. The AK-12 is 306. One over that one. The Badger is a 348. That's a, like I said, that's a great gun to use though. Um, let's see. A Remington. Da -da -da. Yeah, uh, so far, that's all I've been using. Uh, I use the SA-805, and I don't think my KD is very good with that. I tried it out on a uh, Prison Break. Wasn't didn't. Turn out very well. I switched back to the AK-12, but you know, I wanted to show you guys what I use, and hopefully, you guys can try these classes out yourself. See how you do. These are definitely, you know, the classes I use to run around and do the things you see me doing in my videos. I mean, you can match it up and see, you know, like now my older videos when I was trying things out, and this is why I wanted to wait to high prestige. In the older videos, you know, I ran things like off the grid. I ran things like Amplify. I ran things. Uh, you know, that I don't even use anymore, I don't even touch, like I said, I take off off the grid because it slows down the game completely, and I want to speed the game up as fast as possible, just for you guys, so I can get you guys some fast-paced videos, I know they're not as fast-paced as Black Ops 2, but this game is clearly nowhere near as fast-paced as Black Ops 2, but do not let anybody tell you that you cannot run and gun, because the run and gun is possible, and that is why I run the Ballistic Vest, and if you're wondering why I run this Ballistic Vest, and you're still watching this video, the reason I run Ballistic Vest, it's more of a confidence booster, and that's exactly what you need when you're playing and running gunning in this game. When you're running gunning, you know, the reason I started this game and I hated it simply because the time to kill was so fast and my confidence went down because I could die so easy just by making the wrong move. To where Ballistic Vest takes that pressure off your mind and makes you think because it really does not do much. I mean, I die so fast even with Ballistic Vest, but it just gives me that confidence and that feel of relief that I could, you know, I have a little bit higher advantage than that person when I do have it on. I mean, half the time, I still die just as fast with it on, but, you know, it is nice to know there's a little bit of leeway on my side, and I run the stat comp to help my team out, even though I probably should take it off because my team never even helps me out. The other day I was playing, and I'll be putting this video up for you guys. It was a flawless TDM. I went 24-0, and 0, guys. One kill off the chem strike, and I was begging my team, my randoms, to stop killing. I said, guys, stop killing, stop killing, stop killing. They wouldn't do it. And then I think they, they at one kill left, and when I was 24 and there was one kill left in the game, they stopped killing. But someone's random IED ended up getting a kill and ended the game, which you will see in the video. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the setups. I will definitely be bringing you some more setups to more I Prestige. I think I'm going to do this at the end of every Prestige, just so you can see the new setups I do add to my collection um i wish they gave me 10 classes instead of six per character but i mean maybe they'll give it in dlc i don't know we'll see in the future what there is to you know come i'm i'm excited for this season's dlc because you know black ops 2 did things so much different there was so much with the camos i'd like to see some dlc camos um i just you know i don't know but till then guys take it easy peace out i'm out enjoy your day Thank <laughs> you.